name is Alex Osterwalder. I'm the co-founder of a company called Strategizer and inventor of the Business Small Canvas. And behind me here on the wall, you can see the latest book that we just uh, published on April 14th coming out. It's called The Invincible Company. So just three quick uh, lessons that I've learned over the years that might be beneficial to you. So the first one, you know, the first question is maybe what can innovators uh, learn from past innovators? So number one, you know, we always put a premium on the idea, but what you can learn from innovators who've already done it is that the idea is the easiest thing. You don't need to have the best idea on the planet to succeed because it turns out most ideas have to be adapted. So the hardest thing about entrepreneurship as a startup or as a corporation is to continuously adapt your idea, your value proposition and business model until you get it right. So the fundamental thing about succeeding is creating a value proposition that customers care about, which seems obvious, hard to do, embedded in a business model that can scale profitably. Those are the two things you need to get right. And then you need to, of course, be great at putting this into reality, at turning it into reality and at implementing the business model that you have in mind. Okay, those are the first, uh, that's the first lesson maybe. Second lesson or first you know, question is, uh, same tools for innovators and, and startups? Absolutely, because it's actually a very similar journey. Adapting the idea continuously by testing it, adapting the value proposition and business model until you get it right. It's exactly the same thing for startups and for entrepreneurs inside corporations. Now, there is a difference, of course, as a startup, you start from a blank sheet. So it's a little bit easier in that sense, but there are other difficulties. As a corporation, if you're an innovation team in a corporation, you need to, of course, adapt it to the strategy of the company and make sure the company will adapt it. It's also a little bit harder because most companies have a culture geared towards execution and management, managing a business model that is already proven. Now, when you come with new ideas, the processes of testing and adapting that idea, those are very different processes from the execution processes. So some of the things are different. And I would argue today, it's actually a little bit harder to innovate within companies. But in the future, once the established corporations figure out how to do this, it will be easier because you have access to resources like a brand, like customers, or even money. Okay, so it will become easier once the established companies figured it out. Today still, but I don't think that will last, most disruptions come from startups like Tesla, et cetera, but that will change over time. It'll be more of a competition between startups and corporations. The last question, a very interesting one, well, what about social entrepreneurship? Can I use the same tools? Absolutely. There is one difference, of course, that as a social entrepreneur or entrepreneur you know, working in the field of sustainability, you have additional constraints because you don't just want to make money, you also want to have a positive impact. So the way you want to see it is that you add an additional constraint, which makes it even harder. But I think it's very exciting because the greatest innovations come today from companies that can harmonize impact and profit, where one is not at the expense of the other, because there's this myth that you can't make a profit when you're having an impact on the world, either you know, in terms of social impact or uh, sustainability. And there are a couple of great examples. I'll give you one from a large corporation, a company called Unilever, one of the biggest food companies in the world. When Paul Pullman took over as a CEO, he changed the company's strategy to say, we're going to have a positive impact on the environment. And at the same time, we're going to grow and make profits. And he put that into place and Unilever completely transformed. So you don't need to have a social entrepreneurship startup to do social entrepreneurship in the case of Unilever that really happened inside of a large corporation. So get out there, realize your dreams. But one thing I want you to accept is that you're going to fail a ton. You're going to get a lot of things wrong, but that is okay because the core of entrepreneurship and innovation is not to find the right idea immediately. It's to adapt your idea continuously until you get it right. So get out of the building, maybe not now with the Corona 19, but test your ideas, adapt them as much as you can until you get it right. Good luck.